Hello and welcome to Strategy Battle Gamers to another GBHL YouTube channel video and you're here with your host GBHL Jamie and it's my hobby vlog this week. So what is this you see before you? Well it's not Lord of the Rings. This, these are models by Heroes of the Dark Age and these are sort of my starting models for Saga. As some of you may know um, the GBHL team went down to Selwig the other weekend and Damien and I got managed to get in a game of Saga. And I mean Saga's a thing that I've been looking at for a while. The, the Dark Ages are sort of a period of history I really enjoy. And I really enjoyed the game so I snapped up some minis and well went home and in my normal style got painting straight away and I've got half of what I, the models I need to get painted done. Over there look at the berserkers. Now, something I found whilst painting these guys is that although the models are fun to paint and I think they came out quite nicely for you know, sort of just under a day's work um, the quality of third party companies compared to GW is outstanding. Like, on lots of these guys, you can see that the chainmail, and this guy's a good example here, the chainmail was really difficult to try and make it look like chainmail. Uh, the holes in between the, well, the links, I guess, aren't that proficient, and the ink doesn't sit in them, so you don't get that black hole effect. That guy there with the swinging sword, he looks alright. But, um, yeah, really different to uh, GW. I can hear my doors knocking, so I'll be back one sec. Sorry about the disruption there, I um, had to go let the guy in to read the gas and electric meters. So, uh, I've taken the break to conveniently split up the warbands into what they will be for Saga. So I'm going to have a unit of eight warriors. Uh, I'm going to call them my sword Danes. Uh, eight sp guys with spear, uh, eight more warriors. They're going to be eight spear Danes, and there's no effect in game for swords and spears. It's just to help me keep track of the, the warriors and where they should be and what unit coherency they should have. Got four berserkers, which I've done some sort of test rolling, as it were, against many different things. And whilst they usually wipe out a unit, they also die themselves, so they're sort of a sacrificial unit. Four hearthguard, and then my free leader over there. Let's see if we can bring him in a little bit closer. Oh, camera twist. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's him there on the bigger base to show he's the general or the warlord and he's got a casualty on his base as well. The casualties are from War Games Foundry and as I think I said earlier the, these miniatures are by Heroes of the Dark Age. And yeah, I've really enjoyed painting them and can't wait to get some games of Saga in. Hope this community will enjoy the saga as it were. Um, I think sort of, if, you, if you like Lord of the Rings you probably will like the Viking era. So yeah, these guys are going to be quite fun to use hopefully and James as we like to do opposing forces well, where we can he's taken a Saxon or sort of I think it's Anglo-Dane or something uh, his warband but no doubt the Vikings will crush him so that has been half of my hobby vlog for this week the second half actually moves back into Lord of the Rings I'm sure you can see some of them sneaking in the back there um, and I'll be back with that any second and we're back, and you may recognise this from previous hobby vlogs. Um, this was my uh, hobbit hole that I was working on. This is pretty much finished now. I just need to get sort of the, the bobby pin for the middle. And as I said, I was going to do it. I've not yet cleaned up the windows. We still got flocking in the black bits. Uh, so that was one that's been completed, and that was actually used at the Desolation of Stockport 2.0 tournament. That's one side. And what I've been doing as well is making up a lot more. Um, these have all had sort of the the basic groundwork's done, they've been sanded, flocked, painted, roughly painted to get the colours I wanted on them. And again I need to put the bobby pins on, put the decoration on like the foliage and bits of grass and flowers. I think best of all these flowers from Animal Games have run out. Um, all, all of them have them on but I want more for the Shire. So that's one done, that's the terraced houses. We've got a standard hobbit hole here. Again, sanded, flocked, painted and in dire need of bobby pins. There's this one which is quite a big piece. Um, so it has a door here, two windows around the back, side exit and a little fence panel in there. And come him to one side. I'm uh, building these up for the scarring of the Shire scenarios. There's one here, uh, very plain, just you know another standard hole to go around the boards. That's that one. There and then this one with the double hobbit hole, the double hole, 
Um, as Damien said, every hole's a goal. Um, and yeah, that's that one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six Hobbit holes potentially to go onto a board, and they will be used for the scouring of the Shire scenarios. Sorry, I'm letting you look at nothing there. Bring this one back into shot. That was nice. So yeah, um, I've been building up some of my Hobbit forces. Steve Crow's got the rest of the sheriffs that I need, the rest of the archers. Um, and I've got all the heroes now. I think I just need Lobelia and Paladin, which I may have to just, you know, buy a GW fancast pack set for. But uh, that has been this week's hobby vlog from GBHL Jamie. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, be sure to comment, like, share and subscribe. Support your Hobbit hobby and whatever hobbies you do. And happy strategy battle gaming, guys.